Greetings, I'm Gio Snow, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix the Arduino Mega boards that are not working with the computer, they are not recognized by the computer, and I'm talking about these cheapo Chinese boards that are pretty cheap, but sometimes they're not so reliable, and um, I have an example in here of one of them that I bought from AliExpress for pretty pretty cheap. And the problem is that the um, Arduino IDE and any other Arduino tool would not recognize it. It simply doesn't get recognized on the serial. So um, the fix for them is pretty simple. Some of them do work uh, right out of the uh, box. I mean, you can plug them in and they get recognized and you can work with them. And most of the RC3 from the Arduino you know uh, clones are working perfectly fine, but the Megas seem to have a problem. They do contain, most of the times, a chip like this, CH34 something, and if they do have this chip, they do need a separate driver, which can be such an inaccessible piece of software to find. So what you need to do is to pretty much go in here on this website, on uh, a Chinese website, wch.cn, the link is going to be in the description, and you have the uh, downloads for the drivers. This driver package in here contains the support for pretty much all this um, range of chips from the CH34 something and you will need to download the one appropriate for your computer. Now I'm running macOS High Sierra which is pretty much macOS so I have to download the Mac version of the uh, package from here. But if you're running on uh, Linux you can get this one, this package in here and if you're running on Windows you get this one from here. You press download once you select for example if you want Windows you press in here and it's going to load, it's loading pretty fast, no problem with that, and now you have selected the Windows package, you can see it says it's supporting from Windows XP or 2000 or 95 or whatever, and you press download in there, but in my case I need the Mac version, so that I can install it on Mac OS, and I select it, it says it supports Mac OS, doesn't really tell you what, and you press download in here, and it's going to come up as a package that I got, and you will have to unpack it with WinZip or WinRutter or whatever, just unpack it, and it results in a folder. On my case, it's a Mac uh, installer package, which I'm going to open, and as I said, this supports pretty much most of their chips from the CH34 uh, range. We're going to press continue here, install, it's going to ask you to sign in into your account, and um, here it's uh, saying the fact that you will have to restart the computer after that, you press continue, and it's not going to take too long, it's going to show you the um, you know green check mark icon once it's done, it's not such big of a deal, but you will have to restart your computer both on Windows and on macOS and even on Linux after you install this. This is pretty much the um, serial to USB chip and the driver for it, so that the computer can talk with the board itself. I have no idea why the default one from the Arduino IDE is not working. I'm not entirely sure if it's the same chip used in the uh, legit Arduino boards, but I'm using this um, cheapo Chinese one because I was working the other day on a project that involved having the risk to break the board itself, and I didn't want to risk the uh, legit board, so I got this cheapo one, but these are not very reliable in terms of connection. So yeah, it says in here the installation was successful. On Windows, it's pretty much that setup thing with, you know, next, 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 and stuff like that. You will have to press restart and restart the computer, but since I already had the drivers installed, I'm not going to do that, just for demonstration purposes, but you will have to restart. Now, if you open the Arduino IDE in here, I pretty much have one of the uh, built-in examples loaded, the blink one, and the problem before installing the drivers was that I wasn't able to go tools in here and the port. It would not recognize the board itself. These are the blue incoming port and the PhoneLab wireless IAP. It's pretty much my phone. So um, yeah, it wasn't detecting the board itself. Now if I connect it, let me do that with the uh, cable. By the way, do not use the provided cable. Some of them come with cables for connection, just get a real uh, decent cable, because the cables that come with these boards are so cheaply done, they will probably disconnect and wear out so quickly. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go here to the tools and to board, and you can see it's selected for the uh, Arduino Uno. 
we're going to have to select the Mega in this case, not Mega ADK, but Mega or Mega 2560. And then since this board comes with two different uh, processors, depending on the uh, version you have, you're going to have to go here to processor and select the one for your board. In my case, it says on the board that is a Mega 2560. So the default one is correct. But if you have an older one with the 1280, you have to select that one in there. Now on the port itself, you can see that is now showing up. It says dev CU WH uh, USB serial and some numbers. If I select that one in there, it should be able to connect in here. Now it says that it's an Arduino Mega or Mega 2560 and the uh, processor is selected on the following serial port in there. So I'm going to press and upload this sketch and you go, you're going to see that it works pretty fine. So there we go. It found some invalid libraries, but that's not a problem. So it says done uploading. Actually, I didn't even realize it already uploaded everything. So yeah, the sketch was uploaded with no problem. Let's try a different example. So file examples. I'm going to go ahead in here and open the basics. Um, let's see analog read serial. Just have something. Okay, I'm going to open this console in here, build it compiling and there we go it's uploading and it's done so yeah now the board is working perfectly fine you can see the memory information in here the maximum memory the used memory and so on so yeah it's it's pretty okay so this is how you make this arduino boards at least those that uh, include that chip to work which is most of them most of the uh, chinese clones are working with that chip or either that or they're working by default with the included driver but anyways this is where you get the driver this is the website go ahead and save the package after you download it somewhere on a usb flash or on your computer because this website looks pretty sketchy to me i mean it's sometimes it's very slow sometimes it doesn't load so there is a possibility at some point it will get down and it was very very hard for me to find the uh, driver because apparently this is the uh, website of the manufacturer of the chip itself so yeah it's, it's pretty sketchy website but it works so yeah this is pretty much how you do it i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to subscribe peace out